Hi, my name is Carolyn Chan, and I would like to take the time to introduce myself and uh, tell you why I would be a great candidate for the Marriage and Family Therapy Program at San Diego State University. So let's start with the first question. Tell us what you're most passionate about in becoming a mental health professional, counselor, or marriage and family therapist. So I want to become a therapist because I want to have the ability to help others empower themselves, that their mental illness does not define them. I want to create a bridge of understanding what mental illnesses are so that the stigma surrounding it can be broken down. I also want to help those who may not have the means to get help, either due to financial, social, or cultural reasons. Um, probably, as many of you know, mental health services are very expensive and many people can't afford it, and most insurances doesn't cover the cost of it. And it's extremely unfortunate that some people aren't able to afford to get help. And the only thing that's worse about not being, afford, being able to afford to get help is the social constraints. I believe many people are misinformed about mental illnesses, so when do, someone does reach out for help, they, they are either dismissed or labeled, for example, as schizophrenic versus somebody with schizophrenia. In the sense of culture, being Vietnamese American myself, I've noticed there's a lot of misunderstanding and a sense of shame when mental illnesses were addressed. Um, words like crazy, violent, or helpless are used to describe anybody with any type of mental illness. And I hope to change that view so there's more understanding. And with that understanding, they won't be opposed to reaching out for help. Um, another reason why I'm so passionate about becoming a therapist, especially for college students, is due in part to my involvement with Active Minds. Every year, 1,100 college students die by suicide. And I believe this is due to society telling them to appear fine or great, and that the stigma that's associated with getting help or talking to a therapist. I want to be able to educate students that it's okay to not be okay and get help sooner rather than later or not at all. I believe that college students are another vulnerable population in terms of reaching out for help. Um, for most college students, being away from home for the first time, probably not having any friends, and the pressure to do well in their classes really can push them to their limits. All of this is what makes me passionate about becoming a therapist. All right, second question. What do you most want to learn in your choice of program? To be honest, I'm really excited to learn everything that the MFT program has to offer because to me, the more knowledge, the better. I know that the program is highly intensive, but it doesn't deter me in any way. I'm extremely t determined to learn, and by using any and all, all knowledge that I can acquire, I will be able to help others and become a better therapist to my clients. And the best part about the program is that students, first year students, are able to start working with clients. Um, I believe this is a great approach since they're able to apply what they learned in the classroom to their work in the field when it's still fresh in their minds rather than having their practicum at the end of the program. Um, I believe by applying the theory in practice while learning it is, I believe, the best way to retain knowledge. Third question. What do you imagine at this time will be your contribution to working with others to provide them with helpful mental health services? I hope my contribution is to be able to help as many people as possible. I know there aren't enough therapists to help those who truly need it. They, they either end up on the wait list for months on end or because the wait list is so long, they choose not to get help at all. Um, from my personal experience working closely with the Counseling and Psychological Services at San Diego State University, um, they've told me before that they tried to take on as many clients as possible in a day, but there's still an extremely long wait list due to the lack of trained therapists. Um, it really is such a disservice to those who provide the services and those who need the services. Um, I believe a lot of people don't realize the importance of readily available mental health services. Some people 
um, like those who have depression or are suicidal can't afford to wait months to see a therapist. So hopefully by becoming a therapist, I'm able to help alleviate the overflow of people who need services. Again, my name is Caroline Chan and thank you for considering me for the SDSU MFT program.